This is the new Samsung Gusto U360, which is available through Verizon Wireless. The Gusto is a uh, replacement to the uh, Samsung Smooth, uh, which came out uh, about a year ago. Uh, the device overall is uh, fairly compact. It's uh, uh, black plastic on the front. does have some uh, shiny plastic parts, but most of it has a bit of a textured finish to the front and the uh, the back, which gives a little bit of a, a grip to your uh, uh, to your hand while trying to hold on to it. On the front, there's a, a pretty small one-inch uh, display. Can set your own uh, wallpapers on it, but it's pretty much only good for viewing the uh, date and time, uh, battery level, and uh, signal. There's a, a VGA camera on top, also a volume rocker, 2.5 millimeter headset jack, camera, speakerphone key, and micro USB port. The hinge on the uh, Samsung Gusto is actually uh, designed pretty well, opens and closes really smoothly without any uh, sounds or uh, feel like it catching or anything like that. The internal display is uh, two inches in size, uh, but unfortunately it's limited to a resolution of 128 by 160 pixels. Because this, uh, most of the uh, text and image is going to look uh, fairly uh, pixelated on it. Uh, we'd rather see a high resolution display like a QVGA display used here. The uh, D-pad is also a bit small for our taste, um, but fortunately the uh, numeric keypad actually has a, a pretty decent size to it. The main menu on the Gusto is also pretty basic for Verizon phone. We've got categories here for the uh, media center messaging for uh, text picture messaging contacts where you can save up to a thousand contacts 999 speed dial locations recent calls also your uh, settings and tools here voice commands uh, calendar alarm clock world clock there's also uh, three themes on the uh, device there's a uh, diagonal white and hexagon you can also have them in either a, a tab list or grid view pretty standard here, nothing uh, really out of the ordinary. Um, unfortunately, since this is a uh, basic phone, uh, there isn't going to be any uh, music player. There's also no uh, memory card slot. Uh, you got your uh, mobile web 2.0 browser on here. can also use uh, VZ Navigator for uh, GPS guided directions. can also uh, download other games and applications through the uh, menu too. Most uh, Samsung phones, such as the Intensity 2 and Reality, have a pretty decent call quality, but unfortunately that's not the uh, case here with the uh, Gusto, as uh, voices on our end sound a bit distant, almost uh, like someone's talking down a long hallway. There's also a, a slight echo delay that could be heard in the, uh, the earpiece speaker, uh, but when we actually talked to people on their end, uh, they said that they didn't have the uh, echo delay, but uh, still all the voice quality on their end uh, wasn't as good as on other phones. Reception was also a bit below par as we only got about one to two uh, signal bars in uh, high coverage areas. Overall, uh, the Gusto isn't that bad of a phone uh, for the uh, price considering uh, it's pretty low. Uh, right now it's uh, free under a two-year contract, um, but for the same price actually the uh, LG Accolade is a uh, better choice in our opinion. The uh, camera on it is uh, 1.3 megapixel where the uh, Gusto is just VGA and the quality is pretty uh, pretty bad. The internal display on the uh, LG Accolade is also a uh, higher resolution, uh, but more importantly the uh, voice and call quality is also a little bit better. Uh, between the two, we would uh, definitely go with the uh, Accolade, um, but still your call. Uh, you can check out both of them on our website at phoneArray.com.